getting more and more expensive, as you know, to fly as the price of jet fuel goes up and up. But Boeing's new 787 has an answer to the problem. It's just as big, but lighter and uses less fuel. KTLA's Dave Malkoff takes us inside the Dreamliner. It's one thing to see it land. Quite something else to get a boarding pass for a plane that isn't flying commercially in this country yet. My name is Nora Kadena and I was a supervisor on the 787 shop floor. Boeing is flying its 787 demo plane from city to city so reporters can literally get their hands on it. What is this made of? It doesn't feel like aluminum. <laughs> A lot of the parts uh, used on the 787 are made out of composite material. Carbon fiber, to be exact. Well, good morning, everyone. The Boeing VP in charge of the entire project says it's as strong as metal, but... It's much lighter, and it's durable. Bottom line, it uses less fuel. And inside... Pretty high-tech seats with monitors and stuff in the back. Captain Bill Manick showed us around. One thing you notice are these big windows, the biggest windows in the commercial aircraft industry. The outline you see is a standard window. We notice there's no pull-down sunshade here as well. But if I tap this little button here about five times... The big window dims itself electronically. It takes a minute, so we sped it up. You can uh, adjust this from the flight attendant station, too, if there's a sunny side of the airplane and a shady side of the airplane. The lighting can change to simulate sunrise and sunset. The lighting has a big effect on how you feel. And you can see it's a very lofted, beautiful ceiling. It's over nine feet high. We set some really aggressive targets and really aggressive goals for the program. You were hoping to have this event three years ago, right? Yep, yeah, about that two, two, three years ago, yeah. 787 has had its share of delays, problems with suppliers, and and what Boeing calls long-term fatigue issues. We'll deliver the airplane once it's complete, it's safe, and it's ready to fly. This American company says they have fixed the issues and the planes are already rolling out in Japan with next-generation gear in the cockpit standard. These, some of the first impressions that you'll get are the size of these displays. They're, they're huge. Head-up displays were pioneered in the military. It projects down onto this thing. Uh, this can actually be moved out of the way. If for some reason uh, you don't want it there, you can just bring it right up out of the way or bring it down. We call this the electronic flight bag. Uh, a lot of options in this thing. What you see there are security cameras, video cameras that are in the area just outside the cockpit. Really cleans up the cockpit as well. Right behind the pilot, as you would expect, are the expensive seats. They fold out into beds. Uh, you could have a first class section, which would be even prettier than this. Not just in first class, but this new design means a lot more room in the overhead bins all throughout the plane. We're talking 30% more space to get more bags in there and get you on your way. For Captain Vanek and his co-pilot, there's a secret sleeping room above the drink cart for those long trips aboard this $200 million airplane. Face it, you know, sitting in a coach seat or sitting up here, it's a little bit different experience. In Long Beach, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Now just buy a ticket overseas, because that's what you'll need. Exactly, yeah. yeah. All right, especially for those long flights, right? Yep, yep. Yeah.